Forrester and Cotman. The intersection to the northeast. So today, we're go yo yo. Sorry guys. Today we're going for a walk, and today we're going to walk the Caster and Cotman to the Boulevard in Cotman. But we're going to zigzag around, see some of the stores back there and around here. So it's not going to be strictly Cotman Ave. There it is, the old clover. Hey, you know, what? maybe we'll go inside some stores. Oh, if you haven't, uh, if you can, do me a favor. I'll let you guys in on the secret. I'm filming this on my birthday, so I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I can't say the same joke again. I. I I'm not doing this to get happy birthday greetings. If you want to, I, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. But you know what I want for my birthday? I like to get 5,000 subscribers. So if you can, do me a favor. Hit subscribe. And if, if you're from an old neighborhood and I made a video in your neighborhood, why don't you share one of those videos with your friends? Say, yeah, look, I check out this guy. This used to be, wow, that, I would say Toys R Us and Clover. Or would that just say Clover? Wow. That's not... I wonder what they're going to do with that. I looks like they're going to take it down. Oh, we could play a game. You guys want to play a game? Um, I'm going to show you some stores. And you could tell me what was there before. You know what I'm saying? We'll go in the Dutch market. That's a okay. So we'll do it like this. Do you guys remember what was at Little Caesars? And all you say is Little Caesars was in the comments, and we'll know. Like golden linens used to be just shades. And I wanted to work there. Because I remember when the Just Eight Shades was getting built. And I couldn't get the job because I was colorblind. You can, you, you can discriminate, discriminate against colorblind people. I've, uh, there's like three or four jobs I couldn't get because of my, uh, my deformity. So I always say this is like the beginning of Northeast Philadelphia. I think Northeast Philadelphia developed a lot after World War II. A lot of uh, families bought homes with the GI Bill. Well, some soldiers. Some soldiers didn't get that that privilege uh, to uh, buy homes with the GI Bill for some silly reason. Oh. Oh, I gotta get cake mix. Okay, this is good. I gotta get my birthday cake. This is the old... Toys R Us. Uh, that guy's. Uh, what's him? It's now a Raymore and Flanagan. So Raymore and Flanagan was Toys R Us. Was it anything before it was Toys R Us? I don't think so. And then Bob's Discount Furniture and TJ Maxx was Clover. 
was it clover or strawberry clover? It was clover, I'm pretty sure. It was a pretty distinct roof they had here. And back there was a beer distributor and a pizza shop. And this bank is new. And I think the stores in that section there, they... Oh, let's do, do me a favor. Can you turn it up a little bit? I can I can make out every word perfectly, but I want to hear it more. It's not even a good song. It almost is a good song. So anyway, this strip mall here, I think that was built in the 90s. Um... The AT&T and the dental thing used to be Hollywood video. Uh, the American Furniture was... Oh, what was the name? Oh, let's get... What was the name of the furniture store? Was it Siemens? I think it was Siemens. Was that the name of the place? Siemens? Really? They went, okay, let's go with this. I know it's our first last name, but we've been ridiculed forever. So let's let's name a business Siemens. And here it is, the pile of snow that will be here till the first week of April. How are you guys doing? It's 50 degrees today. It's been a very mild winter. It's been a mild winter for the past two, two, three years. Look at all these birds. On Aramingo Ave, it's all seagulls. Uh-oh. And this Acme, when it first opened, it was a super fresh, and I worked here. And then, after it was super fresh, it became a Pathmark. And then, after Pathmark, it was Acme. So, I gotta get some stuff in here. I'm gonna do a little pause, unpause action. Maybe we'll go inside here, we'll see. Yeah, I, I worked here for a year. I was in this place, um, I worked here, I, I guess it was like 96, 97 when this opened. A and I was in there the other day, like, not the other day, like a few months ago, and I swore I saw somebody I used to work with still here. That's, that's dedication. Three companies switch overs? Acme, this is a cost. I'm buying a, a, a cake cake mix for my birthday. I told Jules all I want for my birthday is for you to make me a cake. And that's what she's going to do. But it's Acme, so the cake mix is going to probably cost me $47. Got the birthday cake. This, this supermarket's huge. That was a thing in the 90s. I think it was more in the early 90s than it was the later 90s. Getting a job at the supermarket, that was it. That was your job for life. You get in the union. And I don't think it's like that anymore. My kid works for a supermarket. And they, uh, they were getting hazard pay at the beginning of the pandemic. And now that the virus is bigger than ever, they don't get hazard pay. They stop giving that to them. And I, I, <laughs> it's even more dangerous now working there. And, and they don't have the standards at supermarkets. What they allow for people to work um, 
you know, it's kind of it's kind of scary. They're, nope, they're not even trying. They're the supermarkets seem like all they're worried about is making money. Although that Acme seems safe. <sighs> that shoe carnival. They used to be able to get in the stores um, from back here, but he, I don't think you could do that anymore. Party City. That's been here. I think that this was built with the mall. There was a helium shortage at the beginning of the pandemic. And Party City had to close 17 stores nationwide because there was a helium shortage. That's how much money they make off of balloons. I'll go back this way. Don't worry, we're going to walk past the library. We're going to go down this way. See the old Orleans 8? See, uh... That used to be the entrance to Sears. I guess something's going up here. This is Bly. Oh, I wonder. It doesn't say what it's going to be. And there's the old Sears. I mean, this whole area changed. If you were here in 1997 and you came here today, the Orleans 8's not here. Sears isn't here. What the hell's a Target? <laughs> Jim Stakes is closed. Oh, the arcade. I mentioned the arcade. The arcade was my favorite spot. I used to, I worked at the Acme. I guess I figured out why I got fired. I would work at the Acme here. And there was a bar, I think it was called the Hollywood Bistro. And I would go there and I would have a pitcher of beer for lunch. But it was like a little pitcher, you know. And then I would go back. <laughs> there it is, Target. And there's a Pet Boys and Petco behind the Target. And I believe they were there back in the day when the movie theater was here. Oh, maybe they're building something in the parking lot. Maybe they're building. Uh, oh, I wonder what's going to happen. And then this was a 1950s diner. It's like a 1950s themed diner called Arnold's. And uh, all my friends were skateboarders. And they used to skate in here all the time. And then back all the way down was a blockbuster video um, after it was blockbuster video it became a movie stop and now like everything old retail it's now a medical building oh this pizza shop smells so good
Pizza Roma. This is a pretty good pizza spot. There used to be a sporting goods store here. I was right here. Now it's an educational staffing, whatever the hell that is. That's what it looks like now. There's the TD Bank. Somebody was just here. The TD Bank used to be a Bennigan's or a TGI Friday's or a Ruby Tuesday's. It's one of those things. Whatever Applebee's is now, that was there. Dollar store? I don't remember what was there. I don't remember. The GameStop's always been there. And there was a GameStop in the mall across the street. Such a waste of money. Look at all that scrap. Oh. And that used to be, uh, there was a shoe store where that arch was, and then where that, I don't know if you can see where that would. That used to be a drug emporium. I think it was a drug emporium. And then when drug emporium closed, uh, it became... Uh, Sears. Sears took over the basement floor and then the whole building was Sears and then Sears closed and now It's nothing, but it will be something soon It'd Be nice if it was a Lego land or something nice for the kids around this area They don't have anything. You know, there's no movie theater. And this is the block I spent the majority of my 90s. At the 90s. A Texas burger. That used to be a diner. I don't know what that Whoa, how you doing? And and Lotus. Lotus used to be CDs to go. Where you could buy a public urination uh, album. A Nick's roast beef that's been here for a long time. And they used to sell takeout beer in this section here. Up this part a little bit. There's a gap. I still can't get over Siemens. There used to be a West Coast video here, uh, a state store. I can't remember what else. Let's go past the library. Oh, let's go through the parking lot. Let's not walk past the same place twice. This is the... Uh, I think this is the worst parking lot in the city. Wait a second. Wait a second. We have breaking Philadelphia news. 
Did the worst parking lot in the city get paved over? No, it didn't. Okay. Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's still bad. It's not... You know what? It might not be the worst parking lot in the city. There's the back of Nick's roast beef. There's the back of CDs to go. He would use those. He would go down that door, and there was a, a basement, and they would have little punk concerts from local bands. Yeah, this section of the parking lot's pretty, uh, pretty bad. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's bad. I don't know if it's the worst in the city, but it's pretty bad. And then down here. <laughs> How many mufflers were lost? Uh. Oh, I've never seen one of these. What the hell is this thing? I don't know. Um, I, I had been walking, uh, I walked Bustleton Ave earlier, or uh, Caster Ave earlier. A few of them seem like they're getting ready to go. Library. 